Hi guys, my name is Gina Jemskull and welcome to episode 13 of episode Mean Girls Senior Year. Last episode we got on really well with Miko, we kind of, things seem to be moving forward with him a little bit, maybe something might happen with him, I'm not quite sure at the moment, but today's episode it is the first night of his play, the opening night, so let's go ahead and see what happens. So here we go, it was the opening night of the play, the culmination of all of our efforts. And with Mika's dad in the audience, it was my last chance to make my Yale dream a reality. Except for one major roadblock, I forgot about mum. My mum still didn't know a thing about it. I was thinking, with my unrelenting workload and your non-stop study schedule, we haven't had a real mother-daughter date night in forever. It's typical that, isn't it? Just typical. But we're all caught up on our shows. I mean, we could do something fun. I'd go and get a dinner at that place your friend Katie told you about. Uh-oh, I gotta get out of this. <laughs> fleur de fleur. It's kind of pricey, Mum. <laughs> Plus, I'm not feeling well. I have a study group. I have a study group. This late in the semester. I'm down to the wire. Every little bit helps. This is going to be a marathon session. I'll be there for a while. That's some work ethic you have. You inspire me. Did you know that? Thanks, Mum. I'll see you later. Mum is going to find out about this, isn't it? Isn't she? Here we go. I wanted to make... I, want, I wanted to take a minute to thank all of you for the hard work you've put into this production. Uh-huh. I'm feeling super appreciated right now. The understudy is an, is an essential part of any production. We need you here. Why? In case some horrible accident befalls Greenoid. What? Why would you even say that? Don't worry, I triple checked your costumes for signs of sabotage. I would never stoop to sabotage, but you shouldn't rule out an act of God. Like a light might fall from the rafters and crush your head. Oh my goodness. So keep that in mind during the performance. Did you mess with the lights? Calm down, calm down. We'll send Bernice up to check them all, okay? I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> you need to be a team player, Bernice. The rest of you, let's keep our heads in the game and away from falling lights. A light is not going to fall from the rafters. So I'm supposed to sit backstage and do what? Keep an eye on all your personal belongings? Sure, that'd be really helpful. <laughs> all right, everybody, let's open the house. Look at him with his little pinstriped uh, suit on. Greenhood looks nice. Psst, Greenhood, I have something for you. Kind of something. A beautiful white silk dress. I just showed it to Mika and he almost fainted. That's how perfect it is. I knew it would be incredible if you wore it for the play. It would really set you apart. Oh, I'd love to dre dress to impress. No, I'd love to impress. No, we can't. Again. No thanks. I think a last minute wardrobe change would just stress me out. See yourself, Jemsico. Oh, here we go. Mika, come look. It's packed. Whoa. Even I figured a treatise against intimacy would be too highbrow for the North Shore crowd. I don't even recognise a lot of these people. Karen's been editing all the rehearsal drama into a reality show. That time Regina accidentally pulled your hair. It got like 200,000 views. Huh? You nervous? Seriously, you all need to stop asking me that. Okay, places everyone. Here it goes. Maybe it was the energy from the packed house, but our performance was on point. But Cassandra, love, it can feel like a cutthroat brawl, a fight to the death. Talk about chemistry. I know, I feel kind of voyeuristic watching them go at it. Oh yeah? You into that? It's actually a dance. Ooh. The kiss. They're not stopping. They're really not stopping. <laughs> this is making me hot. Wowza. This cannot be appropriate. Really are not stopping. Electric. <laughs> that was no stage kiss. Oh, 
All I can think about is kissing him again. I'm gonna get changed. I'll meet you out front. Okay. Cool. I want you to meet my dad. Mm -mm, this could all just go wrong here, couldn't it? Ooh la la, Greta Gemsicle is meeting the parents. Shh, you. Janice, you came. Of course, I wouldn't miss it. You were great up there, Damien. A powerhouse performance. Wow, thank you. We both agreed that you stole the show. We? Oh no, Damien's not going to be happy that Kevin's here. Me and Kevin. Oh. Hey, buddy, good work with the acting. Just caught the last five minutes, but I liked the little dance you did after you, bow after you bowed. I'm happy you were moved by my powerhouse performance. Whoops, miscalculated that one. Oh dear. There you are. Thanks so much for coming. What did you think? I thought Mika's dialogue was tricky, but you, you guys managed to make it sound like satin. Thanks. Mika wants me to meet his dad. Oh wow, moment of truth, hey? Tell me about it. Before tonight, his dad didn't even know who I was. But now that he's seen me in the play, the door is open. How are you going to approach it? Maybe if I drop the Yale bomb a bunch and mention how stressed I am about the waitlist? I'm hoping his dad will offer to make the call without me having to outright ask him. I just gotta work Yale into the conversation and hope he likes me enough to want to hopes he likes me enough to want to make a wreck. That sounds like dangerous territory. What if he doesn't work? Then I am royally screwed, but I gotta give it a shot. Here goes nothing. Oh dear, let's see how this plays out. Green eyed. Be cool, be calm. <laughs> Let Yale come up organically. This is my dad. Dad, this is green eyed. David Bergman. It's good to meet you, Mr. Bergman. You did a great job. You should be very proud. Accept the compliment, pass it on to Mika. Let's pass it on to Mika. Really, it was Mika's script and directing that made me look good. Surviving weeks of this guy in director mode, that you should be an extra, you should be extra proud of that. Dad, he can be a real handful, this kid. He sure has his moments. Come on, Greenoid, slide the convo over to Yale. Nice and easy. They've only just started speaking. <laughs> so, Mika tells me you, oh, and that kiss on stage, wooey. <laughs> Dad. Looked like you really rehearsed that one. Oh my goodness, <laughs> how embarrassing. Okay, Dad is okay. Dad is out past his curfew. Thanks so much for coming, sir. I hope I can keep up theatre at... You should. You're great at it. Okay, folks, I'll get out of your hair. Good job tonight, kiddo. And it was nice to meet you, green-eyed. Oh, crap. <laughs> now I've got to ask Mika to ask his dad for me. This is exactly what I've been trying to avoid, but been avoiding this entire time. This is not going to go well. Just don't do it. Do not ask. Hey, kiddo. Haha. <laughs> so, about that kiss. About that. Hmm, request a reprise or downplay it. Let's request. What would you think of a do-over? I would think that sounds interesting. Maybe without an audience this time? Yeah, so maybe when these people clear out? Yeah. All right, here goes cringeworthy plan B. This is just gonna blow up in her face. I'm so sure of it. So, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah? Oh, wait, first, you will not believe. As soon as I went to look for my dad, guess what I found? What? Regina was out here chatting him up, telling him what good friends we are, and asking him all about Yale. She what? Seems like she only joined the play so she could press my dad for a recommendation because he's a big Yale donor. So much for plan B. <laughs> Can you believe? She's, even w she's an even worse user girl than my ex. Now there's absolutely no way I can ever ask him. Enter phase royally screwed. Anyway, what were you about to say? It's a good job she, he said that when she, he did, to be honest. I'm here with Mika Bergman, the mastermind behind the theatrical phenomenon, The Love Delusion. We need to put a bell on you. <laughs> Mika, do you have anything to say to your fans? Hold on, I'll give you an interview, but I really have to go to the bathroom. You heard it here, fans. He really has to go to that. Oh, okay. 
I'll go get some bra. <laughs> what is bra? Did she mean B-roll? <laughs> oh my goodness, she meant B-roll. <laughs> some bra. I left my stuff backstage. Would you mind grabbing it? Mm-hmm. I'll be back in two. Ooh. What's she going to do now, then? I'm not sure. Bzzz. No idea who that number is. Hello? Miss Jemsicle, please. This is Greenoid. Greenoid, this is Parker Epps. We met a few weeks ago at the college fair. Oh, yes, of course. How are you? I'm disappointed to be blunt. Oh, dear. This cannot be good. I should have realised you were so charming in person as she found out but you were even more charming online as looking for love. Oh no! Oh crap! I just received an anonymous email with some rather interesting screen grabs of looking for love's Hello Cherub profile which appears to have which appears to have been creating using your email address. Oh no. And our little tipster added a very sweet note. Sorry to be a buzzkill, I'm just looking out for you. Sorry to be a buzzkill. I'm just looking out for you. <laughs> Regina. She must have found my phone when she was backstage. You know, I waited at that restaurant for you for quite some time. The least you could have done is fake cancelled our fake date. Oh, I, I'm so sorry and beyond embarrassed. Me too, beyond embarrassed. Hits the nail on the head. I was so anxious about impressing you. Well, this certainly did um, did make an impression, but not the kind you want. I will be withholding my recommendation. Oh, no. I understand. I really apologise, Miss Epps. Goodbye, Miss Jemsicle. Parker's recommendation was the one definitive leg up I had on Regina. And now, and I can't even ask Mika to ask his dad because Regina squashed that option too. So that's it. I'm finished. Oh, yeah. Supposed to get Mika's stuff. Here we go, wallet, keys, phone. Come on, Greenoid, you shouldn't be reading Mika's text, and you really shouldn't. Dad, really proud of you, Mika. Beep, beep. She see, you're, and your friend, she seems lovely. Ooh, wow, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is the end of the road, Greenoid, your very last chance. Yale is now or never, oh no. No, don't do it. No! Yeah, she's really special to me. She's on the wait list at Yale and I really think she should get it. <gasps> Cannot breathe. No, I don't think you should have done that. I think that was a huge mistake. I'll see what I can do. Oh, no. Delete, delete, delete. Like, does she not think... When people do this, you don't think that people... Dad and Mika are maybe going to have a conversation about these texts and be like, I never sent any texts. Oh, green eyes. There. Like it never happened. I cannot believe I just did that. Neither can I. That's the end of the episode. I can't believe she's just done that. Mika is going to blow his lid when he realises, and he will realise that she's done that. But there you go guys, that is episode, what episode was that? 13? Episode 13, yes. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Go ahead and thumbs up. If you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!